evictions running high tonight. Well, they certainly are, Ashley. And to put it in perspective of just how many people are flat outraged with Carl Paladino's comments, this is a photo I tweeted earlier. It's a billboard that has just been put up on the 33 outbound, condemning Carl Paladino's comments, saying he is not suitable for children, calling for his removal from the board. So far, it has been retweeted 421 times. I will not say his name again. Get gone, we got work to do. I'm not making excuses for him. They would like me to tell you you're fired. It was one of the most contentious Buffalo School Board meetings, as one by one board members condemned the racial remarks Carl Palladino made about the president and first lady. The power that this man has, that people in this good old boy city allows him to have, has given him the right to be able to do what he's been doing. I have over 200 emails and letters from parents, staff, and residents who do not want their children exposed to this level of hatred. They want him off the board. We have to act as responsible adults. Passing a resolution 6-2 to two for Palladino to resign his seat within 24 hours, where the board will ask the state education department to force him out. They were heartless. Hurtful and racist. There was no excuse for them. Board members Patty Pierce and Larry Quinn, friends of Paladino, who both voted against the resolution, want to see him apologize, not resign. I call upon Carl Paladino right now, at this moment, to step up to the plate, to express his mistake, to apologize, to learn along with our community that we must live, work, and play together. I don't really care what happens to Carl Palladino. I don't care if he's removed from the board. It's re irrelevant to me. But condemning him doesn't help but accomplish the goal that I think we are here to set. What works is I'm sorry. I've learned from it. And I want him to address it to every school ch child in Buffalo. These behaviors create for our children an unsafe teaching and learning environment. Now, Carl Palladino insists he will not resign. He was not at today's special board meeting, but he sent a statement to 7 Eyewitness News. It reads, the Board of Education's action today is certainly not an illustration of a profile in courage or leadership. City of Buffalo Council members, legislators, the mayor and county executive have joined in the chorus of those board members seeking my removal so as to push back on me to not disclose their culpability in rigging the recent teacher's contract or their complicity in trying to unfairly settle the board's $450 million lawsuit against Lou Simonelli for fleecing the citizens and children of Buffalo. I will fight to the end to continue to expose the corruption. Now, if Carl Palladino doesn't resign, the board will have to seek legal counsel to ask the state education department to step in. Live in the studio tonight, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.